Hi, this is Bernard Miller, and in this video I'd like to show a little bit about how I do globular clusters. Um, we, we have here uh, M13, so um, what I'm going to show you is how I go about making sure that my globular clusters don't get burned out. A lot of times I see people post clusters that look like this. They have a lot of these faint stars out here, but they've blown out the core. And um, I think the key to a good globular cluster is to um, make sure that you have nice resolution all the way to the center of the uh, cluster. So I'm going to assume that you know how to create your master luminance and your master RGB. Uh, sometimes for uh, globular clusters, you don't even have a luminance, maybe just an RGB. But what I do is I get my master, and this is the process I go through to try and make sure that I get a nice, uh, a nice globular cluster with resolution all the way to the core. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this and just um, get this going. I'm really going to back off on this. So now if you go and look at this, you can see that all of the stars here are resolved. There's no um, stars in here that are blown out or, or uh, overexposed. So I'm going to go ahead and start by stretching this and just doing a histogram transformation. And I'll get rid of that and that. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start expanding so I'm going to use the real-time preview and I am going to expand this now you want to go uh, right about to there again you don't want to start blowing this core out so that's going to look good and I'm going to start there so that's where we're at now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go into Scripts, Utilities, and Game. And I'm going to zoom in here to this cluster. And I think the key you're going to see here is you want to make this circle just want to protect this area right here that's uh, looking pretty good. So like that, and then click OK and create that mask. And then I'm going to take this and apply this mask here. And I'm going to invert that mask. And then we don't have to have it showing. And then again, I'll go back to the real time preview and I'll click this little box here and draw a box around here. And again, I'll start stretching. Now you see, you should be protecting that inner part, but right about there, I think will be pretty good. Okay, so again, now you, you can see you're still protecting this core. You haven't really blown it out. You still have nice resolution down in there. And so we're going to call that good. And then the next thing I'm going to do is remove that mask. And I'm going to go back into the script, utilities, and game again. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to expand this now to include, again, part here we go, right about, right about there, I guess. Click OK and create the next mask. And then I'm going to apply this mask now. Move this over here. And I'm going to invert that mask. And then again, real-time preview. And I'll start stretching again to right about there. Okay. 
Now, one thing I might do here, I get to this point, you see, we're starting to get this little floor here. It's, it's okay now, but I'll show you later as you continue to stretch, you'll have to adjust this. But for now, I'm going to take a look at this and I'm going to invert that mask again and then do a real time preview and maybe just pull down that core jet move just a bit. Not a whole lot, but again, just keep it from getting blown out. Okay, and then mask. I'm going to remove that mask and we'll do it again. Oops, sorry, script, utilities, game. And I'll expand that out to there and out to there. around there click OK but anyway what you can see here is hopefully you're seeing the process that I'm going through I'm, I'm doing successive masks that get bigger and bigger again you always have to remember to invert the mask then do a real-time preview Let me reset this and And then here you can see, I'm going to drag this back down. And let me see this mask. So I'll, I'll take a look at this. I'll do mask and show mask. That's maybe a little bit too much. So um, I'll remove this mask. And then I'll make one more, I think. It's a script. Utilities and game. And I'll expand this a bit. And click OK. Now one thing I might do here, again, mask, invert. And then we don't need to show the mask. But again, I might come into the real-time preview and I might pull that down just, just a bit. Not a whole lot. Again, it's uh, kind of to taste, if you will. Oops, did I? Yeah, I did the wrong thing there. Let me back up. I want to do this histogram transformation. And uh, let's see what I did here. There you go. Okay. So I don't want to invert that mask right away. Again, real time preview. And then here I might again pull that cord down just a bit and again you can do this taste the, the way I on this one I don't know if you can see this little triangular pattern here but in M13 you should usually be able to see that in the core if you haven't overdone it so I will call that good now I will invert that mask and I'll do one more stretch Right about there. Call that good. And maybe back off just a bit here. And there you have it. So now I think what you can see here is that if you do mask, remove mask, you now have a nice globular cluster and you've got decent detail all the way into the core. Um, and I think that this is going to give you a much better starting place. Again, I did this for my luminance. Uh, you could do the same thing for your RGB and create uh, a luminance in RGB and then do your post-processing over in Photoshop. But anyway, I hope you find this uh, useful. 
it, it'll work for any tool really that that allows you to do masks so um i just happened to do it in pix insight but uh, you could have done this in you know photoshop or, or really any tool that allows you to create a mask like you just saw me and you end up with a nice globular cluster and when you uh, add some color to this uh, and do some post processing you're going to get a nice uh, even globular cluster with nice resolution on your stars all the way to the core again i hope you found this useful and if you did uh, please uh, like my uh, my account and uh, maybe uh, like i said consider uh, joining uh, my youtube channel and again i hope you found this useful take care